Hello, this is Derek Barron. I'm the product manager for Rational Asset Manager, and this is part one in a series of uh, demonstrations where I'll be talking about WSRR ALE, and this is a bundle of, of two products, Rational Asset Manager and WebSphere Service Registry and Repository, and together they help you implement a, an effective SOA governance program. So part one here is we're going to be focusing on uh, the, the ability for these products to help you store and organize uh, throughout your governance process. So, it, we're, in terms of storing and organizing, we look at this in two dimensions. The first is on the design time in the development world, and this is where we're developing and creating all the assets that go into the service itself. Uh, this has its own governance uh, life cycle, and so that we make sure that the services that are developed are going to meet the needs of all the service consumers, and that all the relationships are maintained. And th some of these assets are going to naturally be synchronized with the runtime world, which is where the assets are found during uh, during live production, during the, the runtime part of the asset. And so this is what the two products do together is they provide the development guys, the people creating the services with the governance and environment that they need and have it synchronized and federated with the runtime side. So let's take a look at a demonstration of these two products uh, in action. All right, so part one of our demonstration is, is focused on store and organize that, that particular topic, and we'll begin here in Rational Asset Manager. Now, this is the web user interface for Rational Asset Manager, and let's just go ahead and jump right in and do a search. Now, the search dialog here has been really optimized based on uh, user interface uh, feedback and semantics that we've studied with customers. Now, if you just to give you a quick survey, so we've got uh, tagging here, and in this uh, demo, you can see that Red Hat is the most popular tag. There's also a visual browse mechanism, which I'll demonstrate a little bit later, and then you can narrow down your search results by filtering. So you can filter by asset type, category, state, community, and so on. And then you also have, of course, keyword search. And the keyword search is uh, semantically rich. Uh, here, I'm just going to use a simple keyword for credit. So we're going to be looking for uh, assets that are uh, have the credit keyword in them, because we're looking for credit verification assets. You can see we get a lot of results back, and each of the columns allows you to sort them, uh, the, their search results. Now, because we have so many search results, it's probably a good idea to filter these a little bit. Let's go over and filter by release. And so, as you can see, we've got three items uh, here for our release assets. And version 1 is certified. Uh, uh, version 1.5 is scoped. So that immediately tells me that version 1 is the production version, while version 1.5 is uh, in process. Now, if you are interested in being uh, proactively notified of any changes to this, in other words, new assets or changes to these assets, you could easily just subscribe to this particular search, um, you know, credit watcher, let's just call it the credit watcher, and you could determine your frequency and how often you want to be notified of, of that information. But this is a great way for you to monitor this without having to, to manually come in and search for it all the time. Now let's go ahead and jump in and look at the production version of the credit verification release, uh, which is this version 1.0. So we'll just uh, access this directly, and in the details view on the left-hand side, you've got general details, content, uh, collaboration, and ratings, and so on. We'll kind of take a look at those in a little bit more detail as we go. And over here in the middle is uh, the, the details for the asset itself, uh, which has been you know nicely uh, articulated. And then in the featured content, you can access some of the content directly via these uh, handy thumbnails. You've got the attribute information, including owners, community, and so on. This is all customizable depending on what kind of data you want uh, in your general details. Now, in this particular case, our, our team is using Rational Team Concert to do the development of the, of the services themselves. And so we have uh, jazz-based integration here. And uh, you can see that there are some work items in Rational Team Concert that are connected to Rational Asset Manager. And you can see not only the overview of them, like this uh, uh, build, the, build the credit verification service, but you can uh, take a peek into it using this compact rendering. So you can go in and you can see the work item, the details of it itself, right here in Rational Asset Manager um, via the jazz-based integration of the two. Uh, alternatively, if you really wanted to get into the, the details via Rational Team Concert, you can just click right into that. 
And this will take you into the dashboard for, for your project for Rational Team Concert. So this is loaded up the work item. We can get all the details of it. We can also, uh, from here, we can explore uh, the, the source control information uh, for the project itself. So here's our, uh, our, pro our common services stream and the, the many uh, elements of that. And so if we, we could go in and explore one of these, like the schema, for example, you can see uh, all the things into source control here. You can also go into the builds view so you can see... Uh, some of the builds and, and the status of those. So here's our uh, build for Linux as an example. And as we look at this build, we can see you know when they were completed and when they were run and so on and uh, get those details. So this gives you really end-to-end -end, you know, traceability from the asset definition world for your governance all the way down into the nitty-gritty details of the development uh, should, should that be uh, important for you. Now, as we link down, if we, as we continue looking at the release asset itself, this has links to all the related assets. So this gives you a holistic view of all the components, the, the, the valuable assets that went into this service release. Now, we can see this visually, which can be very, very helpful. Let's take a look at a visual browse of the, uh, of the release asset itself. So this is going to render uh, a view for you of, of the assets and uh, their associated relationships. So this is what you're seeing is the release asset here in the middle, and it is related to uh, business cases, test plans, designs, and implementations. So here you see a Linux implementation for the service, as well as a Windows implementation. And you can even, uh, you can do things like look at the uh, owners, figure out who the owners for the assets are, so you can contact them. Um, and these implementations themselves are linked to open source components, so which are, which are also things that are managed in Rational Asset Manager. Now, going back here, so this particular release is connected directly to WebSphere Service Registry and Repository for the related service version, and we have a direct link for that right from RAM over to WSRR. Let's, uh, let's visit this uh, link. And this will take us directly into the registry and repository. So here is the governed service release, which matches up with our, uh, our release and rational asset manager where all the code is, but this is the runtime view. And as we look at this, we can see the, uh, all the relationships, the link back to rational asset manager itself, uh, and the governance states and classifications. So uh, down here, we've got the service version. It's certified, um, and uh, we can explore it from there. So if we go into the classifications view for editing, you'll see the classifications list here. This is part of how we store and categorize and, and, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the objects in service registry and repository. You can see where they come from, came from. You can also apply them uh, as necessary as well. So that's how we're storing and organizing. And uh, also from this runtime view, you can do a search. Um, and let me just quickly show you the graphical view. So this is one of the powerful ways for you to see a graphical representation of the, uh, uh, the, the service release itself linked into all the other components. So we're going to take a, a deeper look at the graphical, uh, the, the graphical view function here in a little bit.